I'm going to show you something beautiful. Do not avert your eyes. I mean, it's just glorious. It's not even the most goals we've scored this season. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of my FM20 lead save, and as you can tell, Leeds United have arrived in the big time. We smashed Arsenal 5-1 at Ellen Road. I feel good, because it feels a bit like penance for them for throwing away the title under me so many times. Ah, it's good. And only John kevin Augustine got injured in that game, so not everything was great. And he won't be playing today, as we take on Norwich and Fulham, both in the Premier League, both relegation rivals. But how have we got on off of camera? Not bad, actually. After that 4-0 mauling against Chelsea, we then proceeded to go and lose 2-1 to Bournemouth after taking the lead, which is very upsetting. But did we bounce back? By hell did we. We smashed Crystal Palace 6-1 with Jean-Kevin Augustin getting five goals in one game. Drew 1-1 with Leicester away at the King Power, which I thought was a very good result indeed. Then... Beating Arsenal the 5-1, and then proceeded to follow that up by getting smashed 4-0 by Liverpool. We actually should have been 3-0 up in the first 20 minutes, but we missed all the chances without Jean-Kevin there. Not great, but we did bounce back, and like I said, we beat Newcastle 1-0 in the Carabao Cup, and we will be playing Blackburn in the forefront of that, so maybe a little cup run is on the horizon. But I'm less worried about that, and more worried about the Premier League. Currently, we sit 14th, and we do have a gaming hand on the teams above us. Win this, and actually, we do go above... Leicester, probably. Maybe. Yeah, we will. And that would be, mark a very good start to the season. Usually, obviously, you pay attention to where you are after about 10 games of the year. So far, we've only played six, but it's been a better start than I would have anticipated. Having said that, we lose to Norwich today. Suddenly, things get a little bit more hairy. We are playing against Norwich then today at Ellen Road, which is a game I do expect us to win. Our record at home has been pretty much imperious apart from the Bournemouth result. So, Kiku Casillas in goal, John Lukaku, Rob Holding, Van Hudson, and Ryan Fredericks uh, make up the back four. Ryan Fredericks playing very, very well at the moment. He's got himself five assists in his last five games. So, I guess Arsenal, he ran absolutely riot. Calvin Phillips and Seb in the middle are making an absolutely brilliant partnership, especially Seb. He's playing at 7.54. He has been nothing short of fantastic. No already has three goals to his name this year. Kishner, slightly less so, though. He has got two goals and one assist, but both of them came in the game against Arsenal. Quisatz has yet to really get far in, but you can tell his overall play is very good. One goal, three assists. Helder Costa is really the letdown at the moment. One goal, one assist. Uh, all the way through this season. Not really good enough. Uh, Joshua Xerxes has played a few games for us now. I need Kevin back. Uh, Xerxes is good, but I need Kev back. Although, if Josh scores today, I'll appreciate that. Look at their team there. They've got Troy Parrott, who's obviously someone I need to watch out for, and someone we were looking at potentially over the summer to bring in, but didn't quite make the transfer through. And it wasn't even a transfer, really. it was more of a loan, which I'm assuming is how he's there. And that's a great tackle there, but they're going to be able to get through his pookie. It's rattling around a little bit here. Uh, Troy Parrott is in. He's been held up. Great tackle by Jordan Lukaku. But he keeps falling to Timo Puku. He seems to be playing a kind of like second striker role. That's um, that's that's some... Ooh, ooh. You know, talk about that defending there. That wasn't great, was it? I was talking about how good Brian Fredericks has been. Going forward, he's great. Going around the back. Not great. Not a good start. Max Aaron's here, whipping a ball across the box. We were a bit unlucky with where it felt. I mean, that two of them there getting in each other's way. Van Hudson, Fredericks. Lack of communication. Uh, not good. Not good. Well, that was unexpected. You can't you can't be beating Arsenal 5-1 and beating Palace 6-1 at home and then losing to Norwich. It, it, it Just no. Just no. Chris Ann swips the ball in. It's gone to nowhere. And how in the world has Rob Holding missed that? That is an absolute sitter. In every respect, that's an absolute sitter. We're playing better than they are. It's the standard they've had one chance and scored it. It's held the cost of this game miles over. Yeah, I just cost is just... Oh, God. It's not been good so far, I've got to say. We've had chances, but they've been a bit far out. The Rob Holding one was a sitter, and we should have buried that. I just do feel that without Augustine, there is a slight dearth of talent going forward, and we don't have anyone that's truly clinical that's going to get me... You know, well, to be fair, I was going to say get double figures. He's nearly already in double figures. It's Ryan Fredericks on the ball. Whips it into the was the back post. Kishner's not there. Va oh, Seb! And at the moment, I'm not happy. They're not even a shot on target. 
which I find baffling because Todd Campbell scored. So, but I mean, this is new levels of FMing here. <coughs> I'm going to get aggressive. It's not often I've had to with the team, but I am today. And I'm going to bring on Jason. And he is going to... I'll get him as the inverted winger on attack on that side. I just need a bit more from the team. Apart from that early sort of like bit of Norwich pressure where they scored. It wasn't even a bit of pressure. It was just a bit of luck. Apart from that, it's been fine. That'll do. Great from Seb. Fredericks, come on. Good delivery. He whips in. Jason, it's saved. How has that not gone in? How has that not gone in? Win it. Well done, Jason. Good lad. He's yet to really take fire, uh, catch fire yet either, Jason. But he's absolutely roasting the Norwich defence here. Jason, it's got to be a good ball in. He whips it in. Oh, for God's sake. He can't be this profligate. We can't be this profligate. Pookie, I can sense a goal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well done. It's only their second shot on target. It's only their second shot on target. It's absolute. Absolute bollocks. Right, I'm going to take off Costa. Derami is going to come on. Derami! Derami! Uh, get him playing as an inside forward on attack. And then I'll have Jason playing as a winger on attack. I'm fuming. They, they, they don't deserve... They deserve absolutely nothing out of this. We've just been incredibly profligate. And it's just standard FM bollocks, if I'm honest. I, I'm not going to pull any punches today because... I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this. This is an abs This is an absolute. Mu it was. A it was a banker. Do you know what I mean? They've had four shots. They've had one on target. Scored two goals. Phillips, which in Van der Hudson. Just can we just win a header and get it on target, please? Trossard. I mean, it's just we're just being countered to death. Trossard whips the ball in. Tribal. I love it. I love Tom Tribal. Well known. Well known. Fantastic. What's his long shot? Sorry. Ten. Ten. Ten long shots. Are you kidding me? This is going to be the first time in a while I've been genuinely angry at FM. Like, like proper, you're shafting me here angry. I've never been... Like, I haven't been like this in ages, which is one of the reasons why I've had such a great upturn in form on nearly all the saves. But this is the first game in a while where I've been genuinely angry. 28 shots we've had. Eight of them on target. Yeah, we could be a little bit more clinical. But their goalie's playing at 7.2. They've had one shot and scored two goals. I mean, you can't... I can't do any more. The boys can't do any more than what they've done. It's absolute bollocks and I'm fuming. I'm absolutely... I'm livid. If we get one here, I'm going to be so annoyed. Seb to Quissant. Back to Seb. He whips in. Xerxes nowhere near it. Phillips to Fredericks. Fredericks, don't shoot. Fredericks. I'm not surprised we haven't scored with finishing like that, though, to be fair. That was shocking. At least Dorami's one... <laughs> you, you, you're testing me today. You're testing me. Why do I have to watch this? I thought we were over the FM period of having to watch the last thirty seconds when nothing actually happens. It's literally just like it knows it's shafting me. So let's just add to the pain and make you watch the next twenty seconds of it as well. They've done nothing all game. I was gonna say I can't find these performances. We absolutely battered them, and it's just, it's just, it's just FM having a, taking the piss and not having it. I was, really, I was in a really good mood until then. I was in a really good mood. And now we have a really big game. A potentially a massive game against Fulham. They are definitely going to be rival, like relegation rivals of ours. And the last thing I need right now is more injuries. And unfortunately, that is what I am getting. I'm not going to lie. I'm now a little bit worried. Because I thought before, yeah, we've been fine. You know, I think we've, made, we've done really well in the transfer window. We've made a really good start. A bit worried now. Now look at who they've brought in. So they brought in no one that I'd say was brilliant. Matty Cash is a player I know who's very good. I mean, I wouldn't be too worried about them. If I was looking at them, I'd be much more happy with our signings than theirs. So I've made two changes. They're all on the left-hand side. Leif Davis has come in at left-back because Jordan Lukaku has got a little knock. And uh, Jason's come in on that left-hand side because obviously Kishner picked up a lock and knock in the last game as well. Other than that, it is as you were. However, John Kevin Augustin is on the bench. He's not match fit. He's not 100% sharp. He's still carrying a bit of an injury, but I need to have him there just in case I can nurse him back in. This is another massive game. I need to beat them. But come on. I, I've given the Helder Costa one more go as well. I said I had a go at him in midweek and told him that he needs to buck up his ideas and get his form up if he wants to get anywhere. And he does agree. So I'm expecting a better performance from him today. Joshua Xerxes hits the bar. It's a better start. 
I'm a little bit concerned by the fact that I remember what happened last time we played for them and we had a lot of players that just made individual errors against them. We're a better team than they are. There's no getting around that. It's just a case that we don't often perform like it. And Joshua Zerks, you have to finish that. I like the fact he's getting on his head to him, but I need him to start finishing. I need more... I need someone else I can trust to score goals. And at the moment, Xerxy, don't really trust him at the moment. Holding back post. It's gone in! Get in! It's gone in! It is a terrible moment for Joe Bryan, but get in! We've been all over them. We deserve that. Get in. Good ball in by Phillips. Holding does a good header there. And, oh, Fabrizio, that is awful goalkeeping. He spills it into Joe Bryan. It falls into the back of the net. Get in. And this is a team I do think we can kind of go for. They are as good as we are, so therefore that's why I'm going attacking against them as well. I think our squad, on paper, is better than theirs. So that's why I'm not pulling any punches today, and I am going for it. Now, Fulham finally have a highlight. I wonder if they'll score it. Probably. Knockout on the ball. I know how dangerous he can be, and he's played a nice ball there through the Caballero, who's just absolutely roasted Ryan Fredericks there. They play it in. <laughs> yeah, well... Brilliant, you know, it's only it's only right that they have one shot and score it. Alexandra Mitrovic, who I'm beginning to absolutely detest on this save, has scored yet again for Fulham. Just Oh Hello Costa playing a six point three? No, never. Never. He's always so flipping consistent. He is consistent, consistently awful. Jason's not a good one. The wingers basically might as well not be there, is what I'm getting from this. I'm getting a bit annoyed. And by a bit annoyed, I mean obscenely annoyed. I'm just because I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up, but I'm not. You know what? I'm going to get aggressive with Costa, so I'm very unhappy about you. Nothing. You know what? I'm hauling him off. I've just had enough of him. At least Jason, like, is new to the team and he's not played at this level before. But Costa, he's got no excuse. He's got absolutely no excuse. Well, well, it's going well. Um, Seb's now injured, so on you come, Jamie Shackleton. Never played at this level before. Brilliant. Seb, he's probably been my player of the season so far, apart from what the Jean Kevin. First highlight of the second half. Maybe I should go defensive. I, I just don't like the idea of going defensive away from home because we're not good enough at the back. We'll just concede goals. And it you've seen the way that FM plays this year, the way that I look at it is I mean, yeah. Yeah. What's the point? What's the point in trying to go defensive? Every time they get a highlight they score. Fulham have had two highlights and scored two goals. Norwich in the last game had two highlights and scored two goals. It's a joke. To say I'm feeling the pressure would be an understatement. I'm angry is what I am. I'm really angry and I need to change my way of playing. And it's, well, it's just the same as always, isn't it? They literally have one. I, I lost one game, so now I'll be out of form for the rest of the year probably. Oh, it has, I guess. Good ball by Durami to Jason. Take your time, mate. Actually, that's a great ball, to be fair. Joshua's exit. It's not going in, is it? Get off. The FM gods are not smiling on me at today at all. I'm feeling a little bit like I'm being shafted here. Well, this will probably go in because it's a highlight for them. Three highlights. They've had, they've had three highlights. I've had six. Six highlights. Three. And what's the score? Three one. We're going down. We're going down. We are, we're going down. Oh well they haven't scored from a highlight, so that's a miracle. There you go, they've had four highlights to score three goals. That makes me feel so much better. Thank you. You to be fair, I c I can't even argue with it. I can't even argue with it. All I'm arguing with is the amount of highlights that I've had in comparison to them. That Norwich game has killed everything. It's killed my mood. It's killed the morale of the team. It's halted all the kind of momentum that we had. And it's literally the biggest load of shite I've ever seen. And I'm angry and I just want to finish this episode. And I just want to go and sit in my bed and cry. You want to say the performance is excellent? Are you mad? Are you flipping mad, mate? Um, who? Right, who's my assistant manager? Whoever it is, he's getting sacked. Who is it? Dirk Mac. He's, I'd sack him, but he's actually really good, Dirk Mac. But we're falling out. So if I wouldn't mess with them. Seb's injured for two weeks. It's good. You know what? I'm going to do a team meeting. I'm just because I'm just fed up. So I'm really cool. Things haven't been going our way. And they they all know that they're capable. That makes me feel slightly better. But the problem is I've got a horrible load of fixtures coming up. We've got Tottenham at home. Not going to win that. Newcastle away. Probably won't win that. Our away form is awful. 
Maybe beat Wolves at home. Then I got the two Manchester clubs. That's where we're going to come back as well. We'll come back for our home game against Manchester United and the away game against Brighton. And I'm sorry, I've tried to be light-hearted and fun and stuff today. It started off like that, and then the Norwich result just, just. Can I just see the stats again? Disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't right now. I can't even laugh about it. I'm just that. I'm just that angry. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I haven't, but it is FM. It's a wonderful and glorious thing. It's also absolutely dropping its trousers and all over me at the moment. So if you think I was a bit unlucky in the comment section, especially in the Norwich game, then do let me know. If you know a way to fix it, also please do let me know. And while you're there, drop a like on the video, share and subscribe. And until I see you for the next episode of my FM20 lead save, where no doubt I'll be losing both games again. Stay cool.